Hi, this is Sue again, and I'm back for, I guess, what would be part two of my January and February and possibly beyond junk journal flip through. So uh, the last time I just kind of went through and showed the binding and the pages and what I was thinking as I made this journal. And um, so I'm not just going to flip through what I've done so far for the month of January. I also wasn't sure where I was going to wind up, and I thought maybe somewhere around here so that I started using pinkish uh, papers for February, and wow, I mean, that's exactly where I wound up, so I didn't even have to move anything around. So anyway, let's get into this. Um, I did follow the Junk Journal January uh, which was hosted by Meg Journals. And I, I didn't really go into any great depth in any of these, but uh, just sort of the jumping off point and, you know, maybe a little bit, uh, but not a great deal of uh, journaling about those prompts. <clears throat> also wanted to show you, I found, we were out one day at a antique museum and I found these... Um, cards. I actually just made a photocopy of it, um, but I found this 1927 cards, one for each month of the year. February, March, they have little sayings on them. They're just beautiful. I found they were had all 12. I did pay a little bit more than I normally would, but it was just $15. And really that only comes out to what, about a, a dollar and a quarter for each one, which is not unreasonable for uh, postcards that you find. So I thought it was a good deal and I just love them. So um, I started off with that. I'll probably write a little something on the back. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, um, I found this Happy New Year card and stuck it in there. I think I showed this in the last video. Um, I talked about just wanting to be more grateful. So um, uh, putting in Bible quotes that deal with blessings, uh, adding to a little uh, blessing jar I have. So I've been folding up and at the end of each week, just writing a little something about a blessing from that week. And uh, hopefully at the end of the year, I'll have lots of things to reflect back on. All right, so resolutions. So I'm just doing little clusters here and putting the word um, from the, uh, the prompt in there. The second one was starry, and I had some uh, paper that uh, in my art bin the wit that had stars on it that I had used with um not a template what do you call it I don't know. anyway <laughs> words like not too good with them on this day my uh, granddaughter taught me how to make these little bracelets out of some things she got for Christmas so she came over and we did that um when I saw this little image of a girl in a book with a muff like that, it reminded me of a muff I had as a child, and I just love that. I just thought I was um, so elegant when I wore that little white muff. So um, I just wrote a little bit about that, the image, how it made me feel. And this was just a little something from a kid's book that I stuck in there. And this was stained, so it was the coffee stained paper. This one was decorated tag, and I had a pocket here, several pockets, and so I just did uh, multiple tags, one in each of these. This little girl looked like she was doing some toe touching, so I just wrote a little bit about my weight loss and how it's kind of stalled out and I need to do a little more exercising. And this one, I did get a compliment on my handwriting from someone at our church, and so I had that in my stash and thought that was appropriate. And um, then I just made another tag with uh, talking about the squirrels that um, 
keep knocking down one of our feeders. Also, um, a friend from grade school posted this picture on Facebook. Uh, she was in it, and this is a picture of me in second grade. So we were just talking about that uh, online with some of the kids that <laughs> some of the people we went to grade school with. So I just wrote about that. The next one was routine. <clears throat> And I am retired, but I still have a routine in the morning. So I just uh, numbered all the steps that I I kind of repeat every morning. You know, I have my coffee at the same time. I check my um, emails. I have my Bible time. I get on the treadmill and so on. So I just talked about that. This one was stitched. And so it, Kate, I... I still had my Christmas stockings up at that point and um, talked about how I made these. I started off making one for for myself and my husband and then my son and, and daughter, and then they got married, so I made one for each of, of their spouses. And then the first two grandkids came along and I made another one. And by the time the next three grandkids came along, I was so tired of making these darn count across stitch stockings that take so long. So, but I had to make them anyway, so I wound up just doing the cuffs. So I just stuck a little picture in there and talked about that. Um, be careful what you, what traditions you begin because you have to be willing to follow through on them. The next one was shimmer. And this was just kind of a, a page I had in here to begin with. A, I think it's just a image of the earth from space. And so I sprayed on some shimmer and um, uh, that was about it. That's the next one was blossom. So I had this image from a book and just wrote around it. The next one was hidden. And I just uh, had this little heart that I had made with just some little bits of paper here and there. And so I just journaled on the back and uh, clipped it in it's for kind of a hidden journaling spot. And this is a page from a Edith Holden book. The next one was intricate. And I, um, I thought that was kind of intricate. The weaving that I did with the little scraps. Um, also the butterfly is kind of intricate in the way it's cut out. So I just put that in there. And um, then another quote from the Bible on being blessed. The next day was on pocket and we had been to an antique uh, mall and I had found these stamps. So, uh, and there was, and it came in this little booklet which happened to have a pocket in it. So I just uh, wrote about the things we did that day. Um, we went out for lunch. We got some good gas uh, at a cheap price. We went to a Goodwill and a thrift store. So just wrote about that a little bit. The next day was throwback. And it just so happened that day online on Facebook again, our um, grammar school people were talking about their kindergarten report card and how a lot of them did not know how to tie a bow at that point and so they didn't get a star. I pulled mine out and you know not to brag or anything but I did know how to tie my shoes when I was in kindergarten so I <laughs> wrote about that and also the throwback I had found these in um these recipe cards in um, the thrift store that we went to the day before. And I had these myself uh, from Current, if any of you remember Current. Um, I had those very recipe cards. So when I saw them, I had to pick, pick up the pack. The next day was um, hobbies. And I used to do Zentangling a lot. Uh, very found it very restful and soothing. So um, I found just a little something that I had in a stash and uh, put that in there, made a belly band with some, um, the liner of an envelope and uh, just wrote a little bit about that. The 
Um, this one was from the day and um, my granddaughter was over and she had been painting and making a lot of these. I don't know, they all seem to look the same, but she painted them in differently. And this was just kind of a reject she didn't want to take home with her. So I grabbed it and just did a little writing on it. The next day was on barcode. So I just put a bunch of barcodes around the page. And uh, again, there was um, a quote from the Bible. It was kind of a quiet day. It was a Sunday. So I like to kind of keep that as a day of rest and do a lot of just fun stuff in my craft room. The next day was uh, folded, so I, I have an envelope maker and I folded uh, the paper to make an envelope. I did cut off the top and bottom, and um, I got a new iPhone that day. My old one was pretty old, so um, I just put that in there and wrote a little bit about that, folded. Um, this I just liked so much. I liked the look of it, so I just kept it the way it was. It was one of those National Geographic with the citrus salve where you rub it on and it, you know, it creates an interesting background. And then I found this little thing and um, that had the same teal colors in it, so I just slapped that on. The next day was top five, and it could be top five about anything, I guess. So um, for some reason, I was just thinking about the top five Western TV shows. I used to watch those with my dad and brought back a lot of memories. So I still like to tune in and watch those old Westerns every once in a while. So I made a list of my top five and I couldn't stop there. So I put down a few more that I used to watch with him. And I found this image in a, in a children's reader uh, that I put in there. The next day um, was maps, so I just put used maps as a background. And that day we went to see a man called Otto, so I put the tickets in there. The next day was hand-lettered, and uh, so I lettered Cappy's, which was a restaurant that I went to and met some friends. And uh, so I just talked about that a little bit. And this is just a little page from a kid's book. Happened to be the same the same day, January 19th. Um, just wintry, a winter wish. And then uh, this was another one. This is my favorite, favorite uh, Bible verse. Just the plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in the future. I just love that. It's just... You know, in a way, talking about all the ways that God blesses us. The next day um, was texture. And I guess you could say there's a little, looks like a little bit of texture here, but this was actually raised. Um, and then there was texture on the back of this card. It was an embossed uh, piece of... Um, paper that someone had sent me and that day we we had went on a journey and we well, we went to a lot of different places and um, some thrift stores and antique shops and I found um, this book for a dollar in a thrift shop it's from 19 what is it I just love the if I get my Roman numerals, 1949. And um, just the images were so beautiful. I couldn't pass it up because it was only a dollar. How about that? And so um, I just made a copy of this page and just kind of, um, you know, cut it in half. And um, yeah, couldn't decide. It, it just because my husband and I went out for lunch that day and so it just it looked like a cute little image to uh, to start with. This one was experimental and um, I had this in my stash so I just stuck it in there and um, we I just talked about how we went out for dinner and to a new place and everything went wrong. The service was just horrible and it was an experiment with that restaurant um, that we will not be going back to. Sunday, um, old and new. So this was kind of an old piece of paper and a new 
piece of uh, notepad. So I just wrote on that. This one was stickers. So I just took um, snowflake stickers and put them over the back of this um, paper that was turned into a pocket. And this is nothing. This is just a label from a wine bottle that I thought was pretty and saved. This is just an image from a children's book, ice skating. And I just talked a little bit about um, kind of getting tired of staying home and uh, wanting to go somewhere. The next day was scenery. And uh, when I, it just, just happened to be the paper that was in there at the time and it, beautiful scenery of a woodsy area. So I just kept that and sealed it up and made a little pocket out of it. This is also scenery in my book. So, uh, um, yeah, so I just uh, made a little card out of that and yeah, I'll get that back in there later. The next day was one color and so since the pocket and the background paper was already that teal color, I just went with that. I found all these images of weather in a Richard Scarry book. And um, this was tissue paper that I uh, glued over uh, white, white, well, this was the back of this um, uh, cardstock. And uh, I had a little igloo flash card that was the same color. And then I just sewed on, <clears throat> I saw this little ruffle and glued it on. The next day was wordy and I just decided to um, take a page from a book that had words on it and then, <clears throat> excuse me, do a little uh, writing in a in between curved lines. So a little hard to read, but snowing today. So we stayed inside. I did a lot of purging, shifting around in organization. I'm trying to figure out how to increase my storage space. Can't decide. That's always our problem, isn't it? We never want to get rid of anything. We just want to increase our storage space. Um, the next one was earth tones. So I just took different colors of uh, paper that I had in my stash and I added a little bit of a snippet roll to the side. Uh, the next page was antique, and this was something I had found that I thought was an antique Kellogg's Pep. I guess that was some kind of cereal. Um, it was a coupon for it, and it's been in my stash forever, so I just thought I got to put it somewhere. This was from a, a children's book, and uh, so just we've we finally got snow in the Midwest, and we've gone through you know, a good part of January and, and haven't had much. So now it's finally coming. Uh, this was from a children's book. This one is musical. So what I did with that was I just put this music paper in the background, Saucy Sue, you know, had to do it because that's my, my name. And then um, I also found this from a children's book. So Father and Susan walked away from the green tree and went behind another tree. So there they are behind the tree. And it was wintry, you know, and that's what we're dealing with right now. I just put a little uh, snowflake on there, snowflake gem. All right, and then we're almost at the end here. Um, this was, this, this day was unexpected and what was unexpected was this quote that I found from St. Francis of Assisi. D it just didn't seem to be something that I would expect to hear out of a saint. The woman who works with her hands only is a laborer. The woman who works with her hands and her head is a craftswoman. The woman who works with her hands, her head, and her heart is an artist. I wasn't expecting that, and I was a little incredulous that that was a quote from a saint, but I looked it up, and in crazy as it was, that was a quote. The only thing was that it was written about a man, the man who works with his hands. Um, so, yeah. 
Um, and then I just uh, talked a little bit about my grandson. To, this was his birthday. He's 15 now. And I uh, put in a picture of him with his mom, my daughter, um, from this past summer. And then finally, the last one for January, the prompt was close. So we're coming to the close of the month. Um, and so, oops, 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 there we go. So I just wrote as the month comes to a close and it's very cold. I'm feeling very grateful for my nice warm house, for the love of my husband and for the passion to create in my little space that, um, you know, when you, when the weather's bad, keeps you inside, you have something fun to do that you enjoy. And then I, I also currently, what I'm reading, what I'm watching, what I'm eating and drinking, planning and um, creating. So that's it. Um, I got, as again, it got pretty bulky for one month. I don't normally journal every day. So um, even though it took me right up to where I had thought I might begin February, it got a little bit too bulky for my liking. So I did take, um, take the papers out and I'm leaving this one. If this bulks up too much, I might just keep it um, at, at two months and um, not go any further. Uh, or, you know, I might just do not journal every day and have um, a little bit, um, maybe put some things in for March. Um, someone in the last video asked me, what what do I do as far as, um, do I plan ahead and get things ready so I don't have to hunt each day for the materials? And the answer is yes, that's exactly what I do. So this was my little basket for um, the month of, of January. A lot of teals and blues, and I just pulled anything having to do with winter, snowflakes, images from children's books, um, some of the papers that I wanted to use. Um, these are all things that I have left over that I didn't even get to. And um, for the month of February, I started pulling things, and oh my goodness, um, I have way more than I will ever get to here, but... Um, so I have little things, you know, cards, things I've already kind of started making and, and backing. A lot of uh, just paper from notepads and things I've cut out that I think I might use, you know, something about love. Here's, I don't know, I might not use any of these things, but this was a cute children's image. Got a little bag. These are just all things I pulled from my stash that are in other places, you know. So, pulled them out. These are all kind of library pockets, that type of thing. She had a little pink on her. It's not that I'm going to use pink everything, but, um, you know, some pink, some browns, pink and brown, some reds. Um, so I just pulled a lot of things. This way, you know, when I'm looking for something to use, I already have a lot of inspiration to draw on. And, um, you know, little, little bits, stamps, President's Day, Valentine. I guess these would be more Valentine's Day because they say love. Um, I do have... These little flashcards. I don't buy a lot of digitals, but, you know, I do have some. So, I don't know. All these things I have in here, little bits and bobs that um, I might use. And then some bigger things. This this I cut out of a uh, um, Daphne's Diary. Some of these papers. There's a little vellum. There's a little book of chocolate. Little Jack and Jill. These are all little post-it notes. I don't know, pick that up somewhere at a shop. So, you know, just kind of things like that. I have a lot of uh, cards that might work with images. Little doily hearts. 
things I get in the mail. So this came in the mail from Hallmark. Stickers. I made a copy of a handkerchief that I had. And things from books. Groundhog Day. So I'm kind of ready to go, but that's... This is a bit more than I ever usually have to begin with, so I don't know. I mean, maybe worse to have too much than not enough. But anyway, that's what I, to answer someone's question there about what I do, that's what I do. All right, well, thanks for coming along, and uh, maybe I'll see you for part three at the end of February. Till then.